Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tim Dillon Show. Mike Racine is with us. He uh, has a really hilarious new special on the Out for Smokes YouTube channel, his podcast, Out for Smokes, too. Go and subscribe to that and listen to it. It's very funny. He does it with uh, two really funny guys, Scott Chaplin and Sean. I f always forget his last name. McCarthy. McCarthy. I like him a lot. Is he back on he's Twitter? Uh, yeah. Remember when they got rid of him? Yeah. But he's back. He's back. He's a great follow. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's a lot of fun. Yeah, Richie Torres t was tweeting about him, the United States Congress person. And oh, he, interesting. Yeah. Like, Who's that when, again? He's. I think he represents the Bronx. Okay. Yeah. He And he represents Israel. Very, I mean, he goes very hard for Israel. <laughs> He's one of these guys. Richie, well, Torres, you would make sense. Yeah, Torres. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because his family for many generations, the Torres family yeah, yeah, from yeah. Israel. Yeah. And uh, so he was he was getting into it with Sean McCarthy. Yeah. Sean tweeted something about the hostages. And sure. He, and then and when they did the, the release, and then Richie Torres goes, Wow, look at this. An account that hates me is fantasizing about raping a teenager. <laughs> about Sean. There was nothing. Can we say that? I know it's the first 10 minutes. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, what, you know, we've kind of given up on the idea of. Yeah. Some of them get the green dollar, some of them get the other right. dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They hide some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them don't. Yeah. Float to the top of the algorithm. I was trying to look at my YouTube monetization the other night. I couldn't find how much money I was being paid. Well, it's I'm all, clicking through the whole. Yeah. It's arbitrary in the sense that, like, there's episodes that you'd figure wouldn't get the money, but yeah. they do. And then there's ones yeah, where you go, yeah, I didn't yeah. say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then those don't. Yeah. They like it being arbitrary because that's where the fear is. Sure. Because if you knew what you could and couldn't do, yeah. there's no fun in that. There's no fun, yeah. For them. They want you to just kind of be afraid. They it's, probably like having that power to take somebody's yeah, channel away. Yeah. It's why a dictator just will do random raids. <laughs> right, 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 you know right, I mean? right, right, like, right. I don't want you to know why yeah, we yeah, knocked yeah. down your door yeah, and yeah, dragged yeah. you out. Yeah, you're like, I've never seen a guy get eaten by <laughs> sharks before. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta keep what does that it, look like? Yeah, you yeah. gotta keep it fun. Yeah, you gotta keep they it fun. They just drag people out every now and then. That's really yeah. what it is. YouTube yeah, yeah, just yeah. opening the door. Yeah. Your family's all there, yeah. and they drag you out in yeah. front of everybody and question you in right, the middle of right, the night. Right, right. That's what it is. Right. And then you go, I don't I don't And even. people act like they wouldn't do that if they didn't have the power. That's correct. The Chapo guys would be do it. Would, everybody would do, would that do if it. They could. All of those yeah. people would do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's hard when you get that because the tech people have more power than anyone's ever had. Yeah, because they know what you're searching for. Sure, they know your thoughts, your dreams, your fears, yeah. what keeps you up at night. Yeah, they have all of that info. Yeah, they use that against you. Yeah, they can market everything. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. you in yeah. you know in real time. You talk yeah. about something. Yeah, the next day you get an ad for it. Right, they know. One day they just go, "What if we barbecued Tim Dillon?" Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, someone, someone somewhere. I'm sure has brought up like, why don't we just shut them off? Just uh -huh. shut it off. Uh -huh. And then someone else is like, well, yeah, my kids like him. You know, it's like my 13 year old daughter listens to him. <laughs> she loves him. You know, she's a cutter and really <laughs> likes him. And what she's watched him and Rogan and Alex Jones. That Sandy Hook doc yeah. really doesn't do Alex Jones any favors, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it is tough when you watch that Sandy Hook doc. You're like, that was clear yeah, error what, in judgment. Wasn't he making like a million dollars a day to say that Sandy Hook was fake? I know. I who, mean, who wouldn't? I yeah, it know. is impressive uh, yeah. monetarily. Yeah. But it is. Uh, how did he even figure that out? If I say Sandy Hook was fake. So here's how. And, and people piss on those kids' <laughs> graves. I'll make a million dollars a day. They showed on the documentary every time he said it. Yeah. He made like a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, like every time they have like the analytics. So it's like every time he would say like, yeah, Sandy Hook is fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People would buy his iodine supplement or something. Right, They'd right. They'd buy right. like the colloidal silver. Right, right, right. So the supplement But I mean, it sales, takes work to set all that up. I mean, that's, I mean, that's business, baby. Yeah. It's just business. All we have is the Patreon on, on our show. All we, we have is talking shit, and yeah. we get the Patreon, and then every now and then YouTube blesses us, and we have some ads. Yeah. But we don't we, we, we don't have that type of tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Dude, my headphones broke, so yeah. I so I needed to buy a new pair of headphones. But I said to my wife, I said, I'm going to buy you a new, I'll take yours and I'll buy you a new pair of headphones. And I said, you can pick them up today at Best Buy. It felt so good it's the right to thing buy to my do. wife. Yeah, but a yeah. $100 pair of headphones. That's right. What if I was making a million dollars a day because I said Sandy Hook was <laughs> fake? <laughs> Listen, honey, she'd be so happy, you know, she deser- sail- and she deserves yeah, it. My sailboat's fucked up. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get a new boat. You get the new boat. I'll take your boat. I'll take the old one. Yeah. I mean, it's, I was just watching it and it is tough because obviously the family went through a lot. It's unimaginable grief yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that they're going through. If so, if my kid got killed and someone pissed on his grave, I would, I would doing- work it out with Alex Jones over the phone. I'd say, give me 200 grand <laughs> and we'll call it even. <laughs> You know what I mean? We'll, yeah, we'll adopt know, some. We'll adopt somebody. You probably there was probably one family member who said, "Listen, why don't you get just give me money directly?" <laughs> yeah, just give. Were yeah. they doing that? Though? We were they pissing to, on the graves? People probably. were. Yeah. Oh my. Which is God. like okay. If the shooting's fake, then then what? Then why it's not are you even doing a grave. That? It's not right. a grave. You no, idiot. it's it's the. Oh, it's not good. Yeah. But here's the thing. He's always been lovely to me. Sure. Yeah. This is not. Yeah, Anna and Dasha like him. <laughs> he's been. <lovely. laughs> it's very tough because he's like a very warm and caring man. Sure. To me. Yeah. But I understand that this was a not good thing. Yeah. I'm not like that guy who yeah. thinks this was good. Well, you got to make a few enemies to, to get it. There's going to be a few people that aren't in yeah. love with you. Yeah. You know. I yeah. mean, that wasn't. Uh... <laughs> but he says like he's like, oh, I was drinking and I was kind of out of it. Yeah. And I was uh, delusional and yeah. stuff, but they were very good at making that money, though. Sure, they somebody was running the somebody was running the uh, the board. Yeah, somebody knew what was going on. Well, you're not making money off YouTube, so how are you gonna? I mean, you got to pay your bills. You got to feed your family. It's a great point. You know, it's a great point. What do you do? Sell T-shirts. What's the best merch for you? For me, yeah, probably the hoodie. Yeah, the good good margins on that. The hoodie. You know, yeah. I, I mean, they're decent. We don't do a ton of merch. We do some, yeah. good enough. Yeah, yeah. But we're not. We're not like. It's not like. You're a, not like Ian Fidance. Is Does he do we, a lot of merch? He's got like thirty different T-shirts. I think. Oh yeah, no, we yeah, just yeah, had yeah. like a few. They sold well. Yeah. But I, I'm not a fashion designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. I've never been a fan of like I don't know like doing a shirt a week or something. Yeah. Right. 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 Where it's like you say something and then you're like. I did that. I thought I picked a cool little design for our yeah. show, and then people were like, you guys don't know your audience at all. This s- fucking sucks. Right, because yeah. we don't know how to design things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put out something. That the fake business was great. Everyone loved that with the Enron logo. But then we put out stuff, and people were like, I thought this would be a lot better. I'm like, why? Yeah. yeah why yeah, would yeah. you think that? Yeah. What is that based on? Yeah. My other line yeah. of clothing? What am I, a seven-year-old in Vietnam on Fiverr? <laughs> What do you guys want me to do? <laughs> do you believe this Lizzo thing where she's out for good? No, I don't think so. I don't know much about it. But she's quitting because like- she says, I've had enough of people. She goes, I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. All and then I'm- look at all these celebrities that are like, oh, oh just stay strong, girl. Bravo Andy's like, up. stay so I can put you in a reality show and you can kill yourself. Yeah. Andy Cohen Puts people in reality shows yeah. where they there's multiple people who've just committed suicide. He would treat her like Dumbo. If oh he my got the god! <laughs> <laughs> She'd open it. He'd open the Bravo clubhouse. He'd open a big wood crate, and he's like, "And here comes Lizzo." <laughs> but that's you're right. He yeah. just wants to have her on a show. He just wants she'll yeah. be the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They could replace yeah. three of them with her. Yeah. So the whole season would just be two housewives and then Lizzo yeah. fighting both of them. Yeah. Just h- grabbing both of them by their throats. Yeah. This doesn't make any sense. It would be more, there would be more written if she was actually, that's just attention. She goes, I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views, being the butt of the joke every single time because of how I look. Yeah. My character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name. But that's just any type of level of anything. Yeah. That's any level of fame. That's all of that. Of course. That's anything. Don't read it. I switch my Twitter notifications where you have to follow me to say to for me to see your your reply. Right. right. And it's like so much better. Yeah, I barely go I on just, anymore. Yeah. 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 I barely go on. I was on for years and then you just get bored. Sure. You get bored. I'll go on sometimes and I'll go on for like a couple of months and then I come off. Yeah. I'll tweet for a little while, then yeah. I come off. It it's just Yeah. 
as you get older, it feels less, I don't know. Well, it's more fun now because it looks like Anthony Kumi is moderating it with the stuff that you. Oh, that, you that is hilarious. Yeah, he's the yeah. new, he's the new mod yeah, on yeah. X. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's wild now, right? It's crazy. It's just everybody. It's free for all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels, I feel like you look at it and you get a real dark view of humanity and then you go outside and you're like, this isn't that bad. No. So that's the problem with all these social media sites. Yeah. It's the Bill Hicks joke about CNN where yeah. he goes, you look at it and you're like, war, death, disease, famine, hey, and then you go out and it's just, you hear birds. Yeah. So it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know. But I feel, you know, listen, Lizzo, if we, if I contributed in any way to, to her quitting, <laughs> I apologize. I don't know what to do. Sorry. I, I do want to see the Bravo show with the starring Lizzo. She's quit. Yeah, she's quitting for good. I don't think so. Yeah, you're not quitting for good. You're coming back. She'll have a podcast in two months. She should get hot and go alt-right. I've said it many mm. times. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. next phase. Sure. I mean, hot's a relative term, but drop mm -hmm. drop the LBs. Mm -hmm. Start talking about the border. Mm -hmm. You're in. <laughs> yeah. Those people are loyal. Huge. Yeah. She goes out at the RNC, and she goes, I used to be a fat fuck, mm -hmm. and now I, the only thing I think about every day is the border. <laughs> <laughs> I used to eat all day. She's like, I stopped letting in calories. Yeah, we because gotta... it's addiction. I know it well. It, it, you get addicted to anything, addicted to sugar, addicted to food. You need. She needs to get addicted to America's border security. Yeah, yeah. That's all that can really happen here. Do you think about that stuff at all? Do you think about, like, the migrant crisis and the border? I have no idea. Sometimes, who's yeah. sometimes, but if it's in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if I read an article about it. Yeah. Or if I'm talking about it. Yeah. I'll think about it. But it doesn't, like, keep me up at night. I have no idea who's a migrant and who's, I don't know. I don't care. It's not, they're not it's, doing anything to me. Yeah. I mean, I think they got to figure it out. They got to solve sure. it. Yeah. But that's my surmise that they got to figure it out. They got to, yeah. they got to do something to make the to secure the border mm -hmm. and let people in, but figure out who they are first. Mm -hmm. There's ways to do it. It's just chaos down there now. Mm -hmm. It just looks bad. Yeah. It's like if you had a store, yeah, and then everything looked crazy. Yeah, it should look bad. Like down there, it's there's like TikToks telling people like, here's the hole you got to go through. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then all these people are like run, going through a hole. Right, and you go, this seems to show the TikTok border mm -hmm. hole. And you you go well. This there's got to be a better way than this. Yeah. Like I'm not an expert, but there's got to be a better way than like, mm -hmm. you know, there's got to be a better way than just, you know, figuring out everything after the fact. Yeah. And I guess the people that live in these border cities, <clears throat> like yeah. the cities that live right on the border, it mm -hmm. sucks. It sucks. It's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're in the, like the line of fire. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess they got to just figure out how to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. See, this is the famous, is this the famous hole? Yeah. Is mm -hmm. a global destination. <laughs> <laughs> Littered with travel documents from around the world. With the help of a translator, we learned a little about the Chinese migrants coming through. They're coming through from Mexico. <laughs> we talked to one guy who was Chinese. Yeah. We also met a banker and small business owners. Some yeah, they look. By the way, are these are these people migrants? They look great. Yeah. Like this is kind of hilarious. Like they do look really. If those are migrants, they look better than most people I know. Mm -hmm. Here's specifically the TikTok hole. We wondered how all of these migrants knew about this particular One of them had an iPhone. into California. <laughs> the answer was in their hands. How do we know about that? Oh, the okay, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, you oh, dumb fuck. We go through the, 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 the hole on TikTok. TikTok. You dumb white bitch. Created in China. We were struck by just how orderly and routine it all seemed. Yeah, they're Chinese. <laughs> they're doing a good job. They're clearly doing a good job. Why are you surprised? Why are you shocked about this? How much property do you have? It's not a bunch of Irish drunks <laughs> taking selfies. All right, all right. We got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah. Well, they got to figure it out then. They're making a little, uh, mm. the Chinese should, they, there should be a different way to do it so that people don't, have, aren't going through a hole. But is TikTok the only social media app that they're learning that on? They could probably, they could probably learn it on reels. Yeah. Everything on TikTok then goes somewhere else to the reel or yeah, yeah, YouTube yeah. short. 
just makes me roll my eyes a little bit where they go, they're learning how to come into the country on TikTok. <laughs> and they're already le- trying to ban TikTok. Everyone learns everything on TikTok. Yeah. Fun fact, there was no drug use in America before TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where everybody learns how to die. Yeah. We talked to this Indian wigger comedian who makes his money from TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Most he, of his revenue is he does from it in very watching. orderly fashion. Most of his revenue is from people watching him say, "How did you guys meet?" <laughs> at a comedy show. What do you think about the um there's a new article in the Wall Street Journal where people are actually, and I think this is good, they're going back to, like, get real jobs. Uh-huh. It says Gen Z is becoming the tool belt generation. Like, they're okay. actually doing real jobs. Yeah, that's that's probably good. Because in our, when we grew up, people were like, don't be a scumbag electrician. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Those yeah. guys make great money. Yeah, we were like, the, everybody was like, go after your dreams. Right. Yeah. They're like, go after your dreams and... And then, like, go to college because the only way people will know you're not a dirtbag. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it was that attitude when we were growing yeah, up. Course, like, yeah. yeah, those guys with tool belts, they're all dirtbags who didn't finish college. Yeah. Because they're scum. Yeah. It was like an attitude. Like, it was never said, mm-hmm. but it was always kind of implied mm-hmm. that everybody that worked with their hands was like an uh, illiterate adult. Yeah. And that everybody who went to college was like a, a favored genius. Mm-hmm. And now we know that that's all that's bullshit. All bullshit, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people are like going back to be carpenters or plumbers. Yeah, I think about my kid and like what kind of life I want for him and where, what direction I want to push him in. You know, and so so part of me is like, yeah, if he goes into the trades, he'll he'll make decent money, but he'll probably be a little racist. Yeah, and, and then if but if he goes to college, hopefully he goes for something that's like lucrative and not some like horse shit. There's a know? lot of stuff no one told us. But literally, then I'm like, literally everybody said to us, like, they were like, just go to college. It doesn't even matter what your major is. Yeah. No one even told us. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went for, I went for acting. Yeah, they were like, as long as you go. I just went to a community college and dropped out, but they were like, yeah, yeah. as long as you go. As long go, as you get a degree. As long as you get a degree, then you're safe. Yeah. It was the biggest lie. I know. It was just another way for boomers to go, yeah, 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 go go get out of here. Yeah, yeah. That's all boomers ever wanted their kids to do is yeah, get yeah, out yeah. of their face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out. <laughs> just get out of here. Right. Just leave us alone. We yeah. just want to drink on a cruise. <laughs> just yeah. get out of here. <laughs> just go away for four years. How about eight? Your dad like, w- go to grad school. Yeah. Your dad bought a new pizza oven <laughs> he wants to play with. Yeah. Your dad's been making us these great pizzas. Why don't you think about grad school? You get, get out of here for 12 years. Yeah. Get out of here for 12 years. Yeah, I'm I'm happy that people seem to be <clears throat> like getting over this lie that like you should um yeah. There's like a big lie that you should uh just go to college and like for 4 years just just kind of fuck around. Just kind of fuck around and like every other week decide if you're trans yeah. or something and then come come in and out of that. Right. Or then just go or just get really drunk and commit a bunch of like softcore rape. Yeah. No, yeah, just figure great. out which hormone you want to take. You got to take some. <laughs> figure out which online guru you want to shepherd you through the experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever watch this woman? I really like this lady. <clears throat> Find on my Instagram. Do you ever watch this woman who's kind of like a Wiccan chef? No. You would kind of like this okay. because we had a food podcast called Stewed many years ago. Yeah. That, by the way, if anyone listened to, we would both be scrubbed from like every. I it's, guess people still tell me that no, they- No, it's hilarious. They like, yeah. It's the best. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's crazy. It's just so funny. I don't know if you go to the people I follow, if you'll- What is this bitch, the, the copper pot? Fi- find it. She's a, like a- She looks like a witch, but she makes food on Instagram and- No, I don't know. The the, the She's a- Just figure it out. She's a, some type of witch chef. I don't know. The the She's like a weird, like- when you watch her, she's like a medieval, not medieval. I don't know. Uh-huh. It's, it's a, way, a way to say it. Does she's, she cook from like historical Yeah, she makes like really unhealthy things, but it's really, uh, mm-hmm. it's, she's Is really. she like cupcakes with gummy worms on them? <laughs> no. She's Sam, like, what the fuck is this? She's like, uh, she's like, she makes like. Uh, she makes like skeleton cookies. Yeah, she makes like a, she'll make like a grilled cheese. She'll make like a grilled cheese or something. It's uh, it's called the uh, the copper spoon. Go 
Go to the Copper Spoon. The underscore Copper Spoon uh, 21. She's a digital creator. I think you'll like her a lot. Is she like a trad wife? No, I don't know what. She's like a witch okay. trad wife, kind of. Okay. There is a and lady. So go here. Go okay. down. Go down. To, here we go. Yeah, I had sex with her <laughs> in 2013. <laughs> Hello, Traveler. Welcome to the Copper Spoon. Today is a very special day because today is the very beginning of Home Chef Throwdown. It's going to be an eight week long competition between me and 10 other chefs, all in order to raise money for an amazing organization called Lasagna Love. Let's get into it. Week one, the kindness challenge. Jarred sauce. We all know love is kind. Yeah, because that's the whole thing. They have to use lasagna. it because, like, Ragu is Lasagna-led sponsoring. Is yeah, a global yeah. Non-profit Go to one of her other challenge. things, her other recipes uh, where she makes. Uh, yeah, she's like, hello, Traveler. Hello, it's a- Traveler. Welcome to the Copper Spoon. Hello, my little spoonies. Let's make some portobello mushroom burgers. This recipe is super, super simple. I am not vegan, and I don't claim to be the best at imitating meat, but I will say that I think these mushroom burgers are absolutely delicious. So in a bowl, I just put some mushroom soy sauce. She's like good. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah, AI could never do this. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but she's like good it's yeah. <clears throat> she has like the 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 the, the cups uh, the, um, the bowls like, my grandmother had yeah she's like and also i'm a witch she's also like i'm a wiccan i'm a witch but she's interesting it's interesting the way like she couldn't just what's brilliant about this channel is no one if she's a regular cook who cares yeah right but because she's like hi you've stumbled into uh, yeah. uh the witch's room you know yeah, what i mean right, right, but right. i like it i dig it i get yeah. it this is yeah. a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what they didn't realize when they were telling us to go to college. Right. Like, no. Yeah. You should you should kind of be a Wiccan. Right. You got to be like, hey, my wife and I are furries. Let me show you how to make an easy <laughs> salmon bowl. <laughs> we- easy weeknight <laughs> salmon bowl. <laughs> and you would think she'd make, like, healthy things. She doesn't. She's like, she's like, yeah. welcome, traveler. Today we'll make a patty melt. <laughs> okay. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. great. <laughs> That sounds right. great. Like go to go to that thing she's making there. The first go go up go up. Yeah, that. Watch this. Hello, traveler. <laughs> Look at this. It's great to see you today. How are you doing? This I just got done making a spicy meatball sandwich. It's okay. Not okay. Great. Apple, but I think you'll do That's just awesome. fine. It's just hilarious. It's like the music from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I have made a veal parmesan. We're making some hobbit-sized mozzarella sticks. <laughs> you'll need a For lot the of little hobbits yeah. in your life. You'll need a lot of sustenance on the journey to Mordor. So Mommy, I don't want to dress up like a hobbit. <laughs> Shut up! This I want to see mommy. my friends. Mommy, explain to you. This is how mommy makes her money to buy her toys. If you want, if you like our toys, mommy makes her money like this. So you have to dress up like a hobbit, and and you have to get the bread from the oven and then walk it over to mommy. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, what are your other options these days? Not much. They, they're saying van life sucks. Not as glamorous as Instagram makes it seem. Apparently, sure. <clears throat> there are people that have been convinced that the van life yeah. is a glamorous thing, which yeah. I don't. Who they were? Yeah, I knew a comic who it looks fun. <clears throat> it looks like it's a fun weekend. Yeah, <clears throat> I knew a comedian that lived in a van. He he hosted is it Jake Silverman. No, I don't. Okay. Well, maybe. In Port, is he a Portland guy? He hosted for me an American comedy company a couple of years ago. Okay. And he was a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. And he lived in a van. Yeah. And I went to go see it. Yeah. And it did. It was um. You know, it's it was a van. It's a van. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's just not great. Yeah. But apparently, no showers, no sleep. Van life isn't as cool as Instagram makes it seem. <laughs> yeah, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all from the Wall Street Journal. All these articles are from the Wall, Wall Street Wall Journal. Wall Street Journal has has been like taken over over the last oh, yeah. few months, okay. and like literally every article they've run has been like 
Americans don't want kitchens. Yeah. Nobody wants a dining room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody needs a Americans den. are skipping breakfast. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exact all of that stuff. Yeah. They're yeah. like, is they skipping dinner? Mm-hmm. You don't need a dining room. Mm-hmm. They're just trying to move you into everyone lives in a storage facility. <laughs> yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. That seems yeah. to what it's <laughs> yeah, getting right, to. Right. Like right. Americans would kind of prefer to live in storage facilities. It's like a ten year project. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. community that many Americans find in homeless shelters is better than neighborhoods. Yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. They just ran one, the Wall Street Journal just did one where it's like, uh, nobody wants to retire. What was the one I talked about on the last show? It was a Wall Street Journal article. They were like, it was like, do uh, you remember what it was? You ever see that Simpsons where Sideshow Bob gets a storage unit? He's like, I have a question. And the guy's like, you want to live in the box? He's like, it costs you two bucks a day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but there was a guy that made a TikTok about living in a storage unit. He was like, I live in a storage unit. It's great. I have a lot of space. I get to do my sprints in the hallway. I get to work out. Yeah. And I'm sure they kicked him out because he put it on TikTok. Of course. Which is like. Oh, the sociopath. Right. Yeah. They're like, you're. They're like, uh, it was a, a female sociopath. And they're like, okay. and she wrote a book where she's just basically like, hey, we're out here. Mm-hmm. We're sociopaths. Mm-hmm. And, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm now telling you that. Yeah. I don't know who that's for. Like, yeah. I questioned that on the show. I'm like, I don't understand who's, like, what this does <laughs> yeah, to yeah, people. Yeah. Like, why this? <laughs> but it's always like, so van life to me never seemed like it would be an amazing thing for long times, long yeah. periods of times. Yeah. Well, I would see so many of these videos maybe two or three years ago, and she, you know, the girl would be like, yeah, my dad's putting in the floors and the right. plumbing and the, you know. But then it's like, okay, but what do you do? What's your job? It's always a fun desert landscape where yeah, the van yeah. is parked. Yeah, yeah. They never yeah. show it's you. Never Bushwick. Yeah, they never yeah. show you like just like a. It's parked in like a the the like parking lot of a checkers. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and then the employee at the checkers has to knock on the door and go, "Hey, we just don't. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. have to call. Like, I don't want to call the cops on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But I have to. Like, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. were told that like we have to call or we'll be fired <laughs> yeah. if we yeah, don't yeah, call yeah. the police on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's never that. It's always like, oh, I just. They're take away my van. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. They're like, <laughs> if, if you get busted, I, 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 we, a lot of us live here. Yeah. But they're always like by these beautiful desert landscapes. They're like, oh, you just stumbled upon a beautiful landscape mm-hmm. in the desert. Mm-hmm. Caleb Smith parks his home in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, this guy Jake Silverman has a joke. He's like, yeah, I lived in a van and I had sex with a few girls in the van. He's like, and you don't really think about, you don't really think of women as losers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you are if you have sex with me in a van. I wonder if he was a guy. Maybe he was a guy. I don't know. He's like tall, c- kind of curly hair. Yeah, I think maybe he's it a, was. Yeah. I don't remember. He's he was a good, a good guy. guy. Nice he's guy. He's a good guy, yeah. You know, this, is, a, this is not a, um, this is not a great way to live i guess this is what they're saying which i never mm-hmm. thought it was i never mm-hmm. thought it was what do they do for work they get like odd jobs or they they do fiverr or something like what do they i think maybe how a, is it postmates doordash yeah. maybe things like where they're on the go mm-hmm. they can use the car for work some of them do mm-hmm. i guess comedy i don't know yeah yeah it's a tough thing to to travel around yeah but it almost seems like some of the people that I talked to that did it were very into the idea of being free and not having any roots and not. Because mm-hmm. I think you can get a roommate and just be broke in New York like a lot of people were. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are. Yeah. Um, but if you like this, you can do it. Well, it seemed like it, people were doing it because it was like the cost of living so expensive. So maybe I'll live in a van. Right. It, maybe it'll help. But, but it wasn't really. It also like this article says this woman, her transmission died and they. They needed five grand yeah. to fix it. Right. Also, vans aren't as good as they were. My mother had a Ford Econoline van with the bed in the back. Yeah. You could live in that. Yeah. That was like a Do they even that still like, make the Ford Econoline? Mm-hmm. That was a legit van you could live in. Yeah. We had the Dodge Caravan with the wood paneling. Yeah. The, those could, vans, you like my mother threatened all the time. She's like, I'll just go sleep in the van. <laughs> like yeah, when her yeah, and my yeah. dad would get in a fight. Yeah, yeah. She'd be like, I'll just go live in the van. Yeah. He goes, fine, go live in the van. He goes, it's nicer than this shithole, the house we lived in. He goes, the van's nicer than this dump. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. just be sitting there. Yeah. Eating a cheeseburger quietly. <laughs> yeah, dude. They, 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 oh, go to like a Ford Econoline van, like 1998 Ford Econoline. These were the vans. Yeah. yeah. So hit an image on that. Yeah. Th- these are the vans, you know. Get the interior. Get right. an interior. Because the Sprinter van is too much. The vans that you can stand up in. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. It's a lot. But, I mean, so this is like the van that uh, 
Yeah, the Conaline van, they had a bed in the back. Mm -hmm. You could live in the Ford Conaline van. Mm -hmm. But, I, I'm, again, it's probably not, not, not a great idea. Yeah. This doesn't look good for Americans. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't great yeah. that this is in the Wall Street Journal. It yeah. just shows you where everything is now. Yeah. Where the Wall Street Journal is writing an article, they're like, hey, you know that plan everyone had to live in the van? Yeah. That's not as fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not as fun as maybe it's uh, a shed. A shed. Now, you're a parent. Yeah. You, what do you think about hitting the kids? Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't do it. I haven't done it yet. You know, I'm hoping I never, like, snap. Yeah, because I know, know Luis Gomez is a friend of ours. He's very, yeah. anti-violence towards the children. But yeah. pro-violence to other people all the time. Yeah, yeah. Right? Which is yeah. interesting. Like the lady that works at Wendy's. Right. Anyone. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. I, which I like about him. I like nuance. Right, right, right. But uh, there's a video here of, uh, I guess, a grandpa defends hitting a child in Walmart who is mouthing off. I saw that. And I don't know if this is a, I don't know how. It, it must have got to leave in the last hour. I'll pull it out. Oh, can we find it on the dark web? <laughs> <laughs> just, just go to the, just go to the fucking dark web and find this guy beating his granddaughter. We need to watch something here. I got to go to Belfast and entertain these animals. Oh, I've seen this. Is it the guy with the red tie? Boy, I hope it is. Granddaughter across the face. I smacked my granddaughter across I've the goddamn face because she was swearing in public and mouthing off to her grandmother. He looks like he has a filter on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I got to be honest with you. I kind of like him. Mm -hmm. he, what did he say? She was swearing. Smacked his granddaughter across the face. I smacked my granddaughter across the goddamn face because she was swearing in public and mouthing off to her grandmother. Well, listen, no matter what you're doing, that is the correct reaction when someone takes their little camera That's out right. and starts filming you. And just you go know? directly and say exactly yeah. what you did. You go, I was buying child pornography <laughs> to get get it off the streets. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Post it. Put it on TikTok, motherfucker. <laughs> Cuz you can't you can't be embarrassed or anything. You have you know? to just proudly yeah. no matter what. When when they do the pedophile sting? Yeah. When they go, "Oh, actually no, I'm doing a sting on you." Right. Cuz you're pretending to be a 14-year-old boy. You're the one doing the crime. Right. Not me. I'm the person who's arresting you. I have the TikTok yeah. channel. <laughs> you're the pedophile. You're the pedophile. <laughs> you the By the way, that's the future of America. <laughs> yeah. It's just guys with phones in wars <laughs> going, "You're actually the pedophile." Yeah. You're the pedophile. Yeah. Yeah, no matter what's going on, if you hit your wife, you got to just very confidently be like, mm -hmm. I hit my wife because that's the way our relationship works. Yeah. Don't get involved. Yeah. I bet you're single. Yeah. <laughs> She's standing over the black guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you're a single person. You know, actually, right? we're a lesbian couple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're lesbians. <laughs> we like to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lesbians do like to hit. Do they? Well, statistics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, I <laughs> yeah. I don't make the statistics. I don't put the numbers in the columns. Sure. But the people that do find that some of them yeah. are. Yeah. Did you know that even if you have a 401k for retirement, you can still have an IRA? Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this. Now through April 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer in from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right, no cap on the 3% match. Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA with a 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. Get started at Robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees apply. And now for some legal info. Claim as of Q1 2024 validated by Radius Global Market Research. Investing involves risk, including loss. Limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match requires Robinhood Gold for one year from the date of first 3% match. Must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfers is subject to specific terms and conditions. Robinhood IRA available to U.S. customers in good standing. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, a number America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. You can now win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four 
correct picks. You could turn ten dollars into a thousand with NBA, NHL, and college basketball entries today on Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Prize Picks is the best way to get action on sports in more than thirty states across the country, including California, Texas, Georgia. Want to play alongside some of Prize Picks' favorite players like Meek Mill or Sugar Sean O'Malley? You can find the community plays under the promos tab for the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Download the app today and use code TIM for a first deposit match of up to $100. Download the app today and use code TIM for a first deposit match of up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Do you like Boston Market? Uh, it's fine. It's closing. It's a lot Is of it's it, look. What? I feel like this has been happening for like three years. I know, but it's really it's completely it's dire it's completely now. Done. When I was a kid, when Boston Market opened, it was my, a big deal. Well, it was a huge deal because yeah, this yeah. was like a way to get health food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like macaroni and cheese, <laughs> cream <laughs> spinach. <laughs> right, you know what I mean? Right, stuffing. Right, right, right. You get stuffing at three p.m. on a Wednesday. <laughs> it's health food. Yeah. And Boston Market We've was been eating and, Burger King too much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anytime you wanted, you could have a Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> yeah. This was the premise yeah, yeah, yeah. of Boston Market. <laughs> Is it any time? day or night that you wanted to you could sit down with your family for like seven dollars yeah, yeah, and have yeah. a thanksgiving dinner yeah and boston market had some good grub my friend rob worked there and my parents would take my my parents would take me there after dance class i, t okay. I tell a famous story about it mm -hmm. where i would sneak three sides see how you get two sides sure, yeah, yeah i would tell them to put cinnamon apples on the ham I would okay. get ham, okay. I'd get macaroni and cheese, and then I would God. get uh, either uh, whatever, like cream spinach. That's why put, you're a millionaire. And I'd get, put the cinnamon That's apples right. on the ham, Yeah. and I would say that to them. Uh, and then once, um, they wouldn't. They didn't do it. They yeah. put it in the side, and I just started screaming. I was in like my dance costume. I was this little fat kid in the dance <laughs> costume, and I started screaming, put it on the ham! And I was crying. <laughs> I was like, like, put it on the ham! Put it on the ham! And then the African guy started to chant, put it on the ham! Nice. Put it on And then this woman, this manager walked over, she's like a white lady with glasses. Yeah. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, I want the apples on the ham! I'm like, it's not one of my sides. It goes on the ham. Yeah. And she's like, okay. And they did it for me. Yeah. But I remember it's just, uh, it was such a great... That's what never, America's all about. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Because they got their hands in your pocket. Everybody's got their hands in your pocket. Well, who are we know? ripping off here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, yeah. Who even owns this thing? Mm -hmm. What fucking vertical nightmare yeah. hedge fund private equity yeah. company owns Boston Market? Yeah. Someone that's shutting it down. Engage Brands. Oh, yeah, this guy. It's owned by Rohan Group, uh, owned by Jignesh J. Band. <laughs> Pandya. <laughs> he took it over. I was reading the article. He took it over and he was like, I'm going to make it very good for everybody. And then just started shutting it down. Yeah. God bless him. I love an Indian scammer. Mm -hmm. Like there was this guy, uh, Sant Chatwal, who owned this, uh, owned these hotels, the Chatwal Hotels. And they opened a restaurant uh, called Romera. This was mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. in, the, in like 2011. It was neurogastronomy. Yeah. It was food that was supposed to make your brain chemicals reactive. It was such a scam and okay. it tasted terribly. Yeah, yeah. And it lasted for like a few months. Yeah. It was a great scam. Yeah. Well, that's like those guys that work at the call center. They're probably all like middle class. Which guys? In India. Yeah. You know? Right. The yeah. ones in Bangalore. Yeah. Yeah, they probably have good lives. Probably good lives. Yeah. Yeah. And we all feel bad mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. Well, our call centers here at Terrible, that documentary, the telemarketers, those guys that were raising money for the police. Do you ever see that on HBO? Oh, really no, but good. I, okay. You know, they, they just called people up and the people were donating to the police. The police. Play that uh, trailer from HBO. They they These guys who, like were like telemarketing and they were all on like heroin and they were calling up people and being like, Hey, here, this is great. Watch this. This is the company. Really? They would just call old people. They'd be like, Do you do you like the police? <laughs> they'd be like, Well I do. Yeah. You know, some one of them was shot. And they go, Oh no. And then they go, give let's do a donation. Okay. It helps the families. And it was all bullshit. Then it was just Yeah. You know, Deb took Benjamin to an Easter egg hunt this weekend, and there it was like mobbed. And she was like, "Yeah, the rules said that you're only allowed to pick like three eggs per kid." And some kids had like twelve eggs in their right. basket. And I said, "What did you learn, Benjamin? It, it's a dirty world. It's a dirty game." You know, where was this hunt? In Brooklyn Heights. Interesting. Where all the poor people are. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Millionaires.
Yeah. And no, but it's nice. I it's mean, beautiful. Over here is nice. Yeah. Yeah. And what do they do with um, the eggs? They just hide them and then the kids. I guess they hide them and the kids find them. And it was supposed to be three eggs per kid. He didn't get any eggs, my kid. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Because so, these older kids are stealing eggs. Probably. That's not nice, huh? Yeah. But I said, well, you know, what'd you learn? Are there, we got to get our hands a little dirty. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you think there are people that are participating in that Easter egg hunt that are not Christian? Probably, yeah. I mean, right. it's Brooklyn. Well, it shouldn't be allowed. Yeah. Because it's, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Am I wrong? I went with a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> but if you saw... If you saw a kid that looked Jewish in the hunt, would it be wrong to go, hey, this kid looks Jewish and this is an Easter hunt? Um, I, I guess I guess technically I, it wouldn't be wrong, maybe morally, but yeah. I don't know. It don't just know. feels like it is a Christian holiday, even yeah. though the Easter egg isn't part of the Bible, it does feel like. But I like that I like the Jewish people celebrate our holidays. Like I like that they, they enjoy themselves on Christmas and stuff, you know? Well, they go to the movies. Yeah, some of that. Yeah, well, I, I like that they go to the movies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, yeah, it's good. Yeah. No, no, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying if if Christian children are losing eggs. Right, right, right. To atheists. There should be more of or a priority. Jews yeah, or yeah. whoever, Muslims, I don't care. Yeah, who's yeah. ever in that hunt. Yeah, yeah. Hindus. Yeah. It should be a Christian you said hunt. It should have been more organized. Of, it yeah. should have been a Christian hunt. Right, right, right. Yeah. In in Brooklyn. Yeah. Sorry. I just have a... I'm like... Can we separate the white Christian children from the other ones? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> are you one of the organizers of the yeah. hunt? Like, no, I bought this at Dick's <laughs> Sporting Goods. Yeah. By the way, it seems to me that there are some Orthodox Jewish children <laughs> grabbing Easter eggs. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. very confusing. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. do not want this. Yeah. Uh, this is an interesting story here. Um, well, first of all, what is this Baltimore Bridge? What happened with that? Um, I guess a, a boat hit it. It's not good, is they it? They lost power. The boat lost power. So the boat couldn't turn. Yeah. Okay. Well. But I mean, they, there was nobody on it except a few construction workers. They did like a f emergency shutdown. Did anybody die? Like six, I think six construction workers. God. It's a bummer. Nobody was on the actual bridge. No cars, no. And it was lucky because there were cars going over it. Yeah. Like right a, a few seconds before. Yeah. That fucking sucks. Now they're that shutting sucks. down the port. Yeah. The comedy club? The, well, no, the I think that whole port or something. Oh, okay. Something's got to, so they're doing something that's going to disrupt the flow of like all yeah. the stuff that gets shipped in and out of there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of crab. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going, but some, there's, there's, there's bigger problems than just the bridge going down. Yeah. There's other issues. Well, it was probably an inside job to rename it, you know? That's probably exactly <laughs> it's what it was. It's DEI. People immediately were saying it was an inside job. There's job, nothing yeah. now that will happen where, as it's happening, people like it's, like, as it's falling, people yeah. like, inside job. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. are TikToks of it ha as it's happening going, yeah, inside yeah. job. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's wait for a little. They're going to rename it the Omar from the Wire Bridge. I, I remember after 9-11, the, <laughs> the, the McNulty Bridge. Yeah. After 9-11, we waited, like, a, I think an appropriate amount of time. It was, like, a year, and then, like, Loose Change came out, that mm -hmm. documentary, and then mm -hmm. everybody was like, oh, something's weird. Mm -hmm. But that was after a while. Mm hmm it wasn't like, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I guess it's just like, I don't know, everybody's bored. and I don't know. That's There's probably some currency in that, right, to, to make up conspiracy theories. That's what people got to do. For sure. But maybe some, because some of them are right. Yeah. The problem is some of them are right. Mm -hmm. That's a problem with conspiracy theories. And you don't yeah. know which ones are which until too late. Yeah. Alex Jones, perfect example. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like it's like anything. It's like if you said, "Oh, there's an island of politicians having sex with kids," people go, "You're crazy." You're crazy, but then that's right. Mm -hmm. And if you said, "Oh, there's a labyrinth of secret underground torture prisons where the Amer America's kidnapping people mm -hmm. they think are in uh, Al Qaeda and torturing them," you go, "That's crazy." But then that yeah. comes out as true. You say Obama killed Bernie Mac, right? People and then go, people, You're crazy. Go, people go, "You're crazy," but then they find out it's true. Yeah, I'm a big chef, Obama chef truther. Uh, yeah, I think there's me too. no way yeah. that guy just died. Yeah, I don't want to yeah, yeah. believe that. Yeah, I want to believe they got him because mm -hmm. he's hot and he was having sex with Obama, <laughs> and that's what I want to believe. Yeah, it's a better story. Yeah, and it might be true. 
We did an episode about this on, on our show, but a lot of people who have like worked for powerful people have died. They just die because yeah, yeah, they yeah. overhear something they yeah, shouldn't. Sure, because like they wake up one night, mm-hmm. they go to the uh, they go to the you know kitchen. Mm-hmm. They're like, let me grab yeah. some of that turkey. I'll make a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then you see Bill and Hillary Clinton eating a baby, <laughs> right, 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 in the living room, right. and then they kind of just look at you and smile and wave. Yeah, yeah. And then you know you're like, well, my days oh, are numbered. God. Yeah. Now I'm done. The Clintons had a chef that uh, Hillary Clinton like ate his lamb chops at a restaurant. She was yeah. like, I want you to come work at the White House. And then he went hiking one day and drowned in like six inches of water. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. You just got to say no. By the way, any political mm-hmm. family wants sure. you to do anything, you say no. Yeah. yeah. If someone goes, I want you to walk the dog, you go, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Such an honor to cook for you, Mrs. Clinton. Yeah, no, I have a condition where I yeah. I get I get really horny when I'm around dogs. I get yeah. crazy, I insanely actually, horny. I have sex with dogs. Yeah, I have sex with dogs, so, yeah. It's part of my therapy to not do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's something about... There's something about when you work for, like, these political dynasties. Yeah. Well, Marvin Bush, uh, Bush's brother, had a nanny, and she, like, went out to her car one day, and the car, like, ran her over. <laughs> like, and killed her. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But get, eventually, because, you know, sometimes it's Cause, just Because when, he, when he would answer the phone, he would go, hello, 9-11 brothers. <laughs> we, we did 9-11. <laughs> He could have knocked her up. Like, there's all these mm. weird things. Like, people get killed for reasons we wouldn't even think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like everyone who's met the Clintons is dead. Yeah. <laughs> people that shook their hand at a book signing in 1997 uh-huh. yeah. were found like, you know, they were killed by, like, fireworks yeah, falling yeah. on them. Yeah. You know, people die. People that know the Bushes. There's people that know the Bushes that got, you know... I know. It got shellacked. You gotta be careful. The Obama chef. Yeah. Did you yeah. He, did you watch that Patrick Bet David podcast episode with Anthony Weiner? It's the best. I love when he just starts like naming people on the Clinton kill yeah. list. <laughs> what does he say? You're dingling? You're dang you're, you're dangling. You took your dingling out. <laughs> Little boys are learning how to suck each other's dinglings. <laughs> Wait, what does he name? Who does he name on the Clinton? Can you get that? He just out? starts naming people on the Clinton kill list. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. so funny. He just starts, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Weiner's like, "Where did you get this info?" He's like, "I got it at from part of the storm, still in the storm dot org." <laughs> it is true. It's maybe the Clinton kill list is all made up. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't think it is. Yeah, there's got to be enough um, people. Yeah, I, I don't. I, yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird. Well, I guess. Who knows? But it's also like everyone that kind of knows David Spade is, has died. Right, right, right. So that's also like a thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like a, you could maybe do that with a few different people, right? Sure. I don't know. If I, You don't think I can make a list of other people who are 70-something years old and say this person died, How come that they person haven't done died, that with this Bush? person died? Hold on. How come they haven't done that with Bush? He's in the same, same I age. I have no freaking idea why they haven't done How come they haven't done that with Trump? Say, but, so are you saying, so you agree with what How I'm saying? How come they haven't done that with Reagan? So <laughs> this is like the best podcast. What point are you really making good. about these men and women How who you listed? How is it so many people close to them died? How is it so many people, people close, close to, to everybody co- dies? How is Are it you so suggesting? Many- <laughs> okay, I'm asking the question. You're is asking a bizarre question. Exactly. Did people die? You off. Folks, Anthony Weiner right, had. Right. But this was so funny because he like- starts the interview. He goes, "So you are a very weird guy." <laughs> <laughs> I was on the show and yeah, I liked yeah, yeah. him. I like Patrick with David a lot. But the, yeah. one of their questions was, "What if we all caught a pedophile in Starbucks?" <laughs> yeah. They're like, you see a pedophile. Like, one of the guys asked a question. They're yeah. like, you see a pedophile looking at child porn in Starbucks. I'm like, what do you do? So I had a joke. I go, like, I'm like, I get him to green light a show on NBC. Yeah, yeah. It's some fun yeah, joke. Yeah. But then the other guy's like, answering it seriously. Like, well, I don't want to hit him because then I go to jail. Yeah. So I tell him. <laughs> So this pedophile you see leaves Starbucks, <laughs> I tell him, I get in the car, I follow the pedophile, you know? Yeah. It was an interesting, uh, can you get that, I don't know if it's hard to find that section of the show, but it was just a very yeah. funny, Yeah. what do you do? You see a pedophile, at it's the craziest, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. wait, what? So I'm like on the line at Starbucks, mm-hmm. and then there's a pedophile uh, in front of me that is... <laughs> Yeah, maybe is this it? He has your vote. He has <laughs> it. it. This, guy is, this is good. All right, hold I like, on, I like the idea of the Democratic Convention. This guy? Like, you're acting like a 
Um, <laughs> I'm not assuming that he's gay, no, but yeah. do you think America's he, ready no, for a gay president like this? What do you mean? We probably already yeah, have. I don't They're know. patching pedophiles yeah. and What's McDonald's. That's the most American thing Go to the thing middle. Go to the middle of it. One in five Americans report. Okay. Yeah. All on the internet. 60s is looking at girl pictures six uh, years old, okay. eight years old, ten yeah. years old. What do you do? I record him watching <laughs> that, and then I confront his ass. I'm, f I'm stepping to his What ass. do you do? Is it just mind your own business? Plate. Do we go back to I 80s? ask him to green light a show for me on NBC. <laughs> 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 All right, there you go. But it's just like that was one of the – it's just an interesting question. It's one yeah, of those questions yeah, yeah. you don't imagine you'll get. Yeah, but we all have to answer it <laughs> in our minds. It should be a question they ask you on a job interview. Yeah. They go, okay, you sound great. Like everything seems like you'd be a good fit here. But mm -hmm. let me ask you another question. You're at Starbucks. Yeah. There's a guy watching videos of children having sex in front of you. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. I step to his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the car, I get my nunchucks. <laughs> I say to him, I, I challenge him for the honor. <laughs> yeah. I fight a pedophile. Yeah, well, if he bites you, you become a pedophile. I don't want to become a pedophile because I get bitten. Fuck is going on? Detroit Teacher of the Month fired over rap, side hustle, records music video with students. The rap name is uh, Drippin' Honey. Why would they fire anyone who's working in a Detroit school? They should just be kept. Yeah, yeah. No one, by the way, if you're willing to work in a Detroit public school, you should not be fired, even if you're dating one of your students. Right. If you're willing to do that, you should just be kept. Yeah. Teacher of the month. Can we watch some of the rap? <laughs> I want to see. If it's not good, then maybe that's why. It's probably good. This is great. This is good, yeah. These are all our students in the video. Yeah, all right. So what? Yeah, the kids were the ones that edited it. Yeah, what's That's the problem? That's who you get to. I don't know why she was. What did? Do they have any? Why was she fired? A parent complained <sighs> that she was rapping. That, that she was moonlighting. Her social media was inappropriate. Yeah. What else are these kids gonna do after school? This seems relatively wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it does. I mean, it's like. Yeah. I, I covered it, and I've covered this case, this case at Arizona where there's a bunch of rich white kids randomly attacking people in the streets, and they killed one of them, um, you know, attacking other kids. They all look like that, right? I mean, not the top right. He was just the guy who was killed. But, like, you know, so they're not right. So, you know what I mean? Is it like, are we, do we, you know what I mean? It's like we're firing into, why don't we fire those teachers? Why don't we fire the white teachers that let these kids play in football games after they killed another kid? Clip that just so when I'm called racist <laughs> next week. <laughs> Put that in the column of things you can just send to people very quickly when I'm called racist next week because I imitate Leslie Jones <laughs> or something. That was such a good take. You're right. Who do these people think they are? They're like smoothie salesmen. But it is true. It's like you can't cover up a murder if you own an Orange Theory gym. <laughs> yeah. That's not the way America works. Yeah, yeah. It wor you can cover it up, but you got to be like... Literally, this is how little our parents cared about. Like my friend Mike's mother, who I, who I loved, she used to sit there like a house dress, smoking a cigarette, and she's like, "You know, boys, when you leave this house, if you get in any trouble, a fight, a DWI, or somebody gets you with drugs, she goes, you can make any phone call you want, but don't call this house because me and your father will be doing nothing for you. You will rot in jail." And she just smoking a cigarette. She goes, "We take the phone off at 11 p.m." She goes, "So if you get in any trouble, you will rot in jail." She would say that every time we went out, she'd go, "You'll." Rot in jail. Yeah. You go, all right. Nice. But these kids, uh, parents tried to cover it up. Mm -hmm. Your kid comes in, com commits a murder. You don't, you don't cover it up. Yeah. You say you got to, you can't commit murders. Yeah. But this is, they tried to blame it on a kid with another similar sounding name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Because one kid's name, I swear to God, one kid's name's Talon. Uh huh. And the other kid's name's Talon, but one spells it T A L A N, and the other one spells it T A L Y N. Yeah. So they're like, we're going to blame it on the kid that has the Y N. I hate poor people. You know, I yeah. agreed. Yeah. The middle class are disgusting. But the, the, the kid with the Y N is poor. But he might have done it too. We don't really know. No one knows. I don't know. I like to think sometimes that um, I should be a parent. But I don't know. I've been thinking about that. Okay. Is there a thing where you can occasionally be a parent? Like, is there a p- program where you can kind of be a parent? Uh, it seems very, it's very, because I was talking with Annie Letterman, a yeah. friend of ours. Yeah, yeah. Staying with me. Yeah. We're talking about it. And I'm like, she should have a kid. Yeah. You know? But she's yeah. like, but it's such a thing. I go, yeah, I know. Yeah. She'd be fine. Like the mom you see like once a month. Yeah. Once every yeah. Yeah, she's not. She'll be a fun mom. Once a year. Yeah, she would, yeah. You know, she'd just be a kind of a mom. She dropped a kid off. She'd be in like a, a fake leopard fur coat. Yeah. You know, she in a, like a big old Cadillac. Yeah. Like an old one. You can hang out with my kid, but it's kind of it's kind of tedious. The it, thing is, it's hard because I have a godson who's Chinese and he's yeah. fun. But then you go, oh, the, you have to, you know, you really do have to care for them for a long time, forever yeah. and ever. Yeah. We went to the park yesterday. It was very nice, but we like stopped in front of the water and he just wanted to throw rocks in the water. Right. I was like, okay, this is fun. I'm giving him rocks. I'm throwing rocks. But I was like, I feel myself getting dumber having this experience. Right. It's not very intellectually stimulating. Well, I mean, he's still young. It's not like coming here talking about pedophiles. I mean, this <laughs> is really. Be, uh, doing adult stuff. Yeah, this is adult stuff. Yeah. I stepped to his ass. <laughs> I sweep the legs. <laughs> sweep the legs. <laughs> I stepped in that man's ass. <laughs> so many times I'm trying to buy tickets for something and it's just a terrible experience. Then I downloaded the Game Time app. Game Time is so easy. You can get tickets to anything. Comedy, sports, music, live events, last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals. Easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. Views from all seats in the venue. Lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection, job loss protection, etc. Save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, etc. Flash deals, save even more with exclusive in-app deals on select seats ahead of the game or event. Zone deals, save even more when you choose a section and let game time choose the seats. All in pricing. All in pricing. Toggling this feature shows a total up front with no surprise fees at checkout. Seat views. Get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy. The lowest price guarantee or Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Game Time ticket coverage. Your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code TIM for 20% off. For 20, oh, sorry. Take the guesswork out of ticket buying with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code TIM. For $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code TIM for $20 off your first purchase. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets. Lowest prices guaranteed. You see Berkeley professor fired for telling students to get out of California if they want to find a girlfriend. Okay. I don't know why. Why Why is that such a controversial? I think Berkeley should be a... I used to think that Berkeley was like, you know, I don't know. They seem a little sensitive mm-hmm. about stuff. But this, I don't know. This seems very sensitive. You'll be shocked by the stark differences in behavior of women in places where women are plentiful versus <laughs> their behavior within <laughs> artillery distance of San, San Jose and San Francisco. Andrew Tate was hired by Berkeley. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like, he's kind of a foppish Andrew Tate. I like that. (laughs) Berkeley's Andrew Tate. Why fire him, though? I don't know. I mean, I understand he's expressing an unpopular opinion. Yeah. Here's the thing about teachers. When I grew up, no one listened to them. Yeah. Right. Like, no one, like, people would say shit we didn't agree with all the time. That's the point. They would just say weird shit, and we'd go, all right, that doesn't seem... Yeah. 
Like, one of our teachers was like, you just choose to be gay. That's the way it is. <laughs> yeah. And everyone kind of laughed at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like a weird guy. Yeah. We're like, all right. He's just an older, weird guy. He's like, you make a choice. He goes, you choose everything in life. Yeah, He's yeah. He's like, everything. Everything you do is a choice. To be gay, that's a choice. And everyone laughed. Like, because Would you no say one... to that teacher when you were late for class that one time? I forgot. She, she was, was like, if, you, if you're going to get a job, like, you're not, you can't walk in late to your job. And you were like... Well, I'm going to have a real job, not like a yeah. teacher. No, I said, I'm going to have a real job. I'm not going to be like an English teacher. <laughs> so I said, I'd be more motivated to show up to that. <laughs> and then I was sent to the uh, dean. Yeah. I was always sent to the principal. Yeah. Because I would mouth off to these nothings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my father hated them, too. That's that's why if I wasn't a comic, I would have been a failure. Because my father had no respect for thought, but should have. Yeah. Like, should have, but yeah. didn't care at all. Yeah. When the teachers would go, your son talks in class and... He watches TV. He watches Arsenio Hall, and that, com that comes on at like 11 p.m. My father would go, well, he sneaks downstairs to watch. We don't. I'm yeah. asleep. Yeah. And then one teacher goes, he, he, he likes this woman, Amanda. Is that his sister? And my father goes, no, she's a character on Melrose Place. <laughs> They're like, is that appropriate for him to watch? My father's like, I don't know. Yeah. He said, like, he said in the, in the like, parent-teacher conference, my mother said, they go, is Melrose Place appropriate for like a third grader to watch? My father goes, I don't know. <laughs> It's on TV. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Yeah. He's going to see it. He's going to see it. Yeah. What's scary for me is all the YouTube shorts. My kid loves watching YouTube shorts. Oh, really? Yeah. He's going to get you one day on the short? <laughs> yeah. He's going, Daddy. Ew. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. He's going to say- 3,000, 3.3K? Yeah. You're going to yeah. be like, Benjamin, your curfew was uh, 11 p.m. It's 12.45. And then he goes, you were insufficiently supportive of Israel. And then you go- <laughs> You just have nothing to say. <laughs> you're like, all right, yeah. Yeah, we all make choices. Yeah, you're right, I guess so. Yeah, I bet on the wrong horse. <laughs> yeah. just, tr just try to get in by one next time. <laughs> People should watch your special right now. It's a hilarious special. It's on YouTube, the Out for Smokes YouTube channel. Thanks. Subscribe to... Where can people find your dates? You have a website. If people go to your Instagram, uh, yeah, microscenecomedy.com. I'll be in Chicago. I don't know when this comes out, but this Wednesday, April yeah. 3rd. I don't know, but uh, it'll come out this I... week. We'll put this one out this week and then we'll put out Jack. We got Jessica Kirsten. I'm in Europe nice. right now. Nice, supposedly. I'm going to Europe go. next month. Yeah, you know, that's how I feel. I'm kind I'm of just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want to go to Minneapolis so for cute. one night. <laughs> I want to go jerk off in a hotel room and fly home the next yeah, day. Yeah, I just, it's such an undertaking. Yeah. To go to Europe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. To be like, they just, they're like, great, another fat American <laughs> <laughs> walking yeah. through our streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Who has, like, you know, some level of a, a tiny, teeny bit of notoriety. Yeah, you're not going to improve your a perception. certain corner of the internet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, fu it's fun to do, but it's just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't feel, I'm not in a Europe mood. Mm -hmm. You need to be in a Europe mood, mm -hmm. like that basic white girl kind of like. Right, because what's it's over there? That my you can't... time. <laughs> yeah, no. what's over there that you can't do here? What do they have? That I we don't, don't know. Have, that we don't have po food that's not poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better for you. It's nice. Walk around new areas. Um, but if this comes, why are you putting up the dates? It's over already. If this comes out, oh, you put, let's put on Mike's dates. Okay, Chicago, okay. New York, Amsterdam, Berlin. Wow. You are going over. Yeah. And Charlotte, go see Mike. He's one of the best. Find our nice. old podcast, dude. Yeah. Make it big. I'm happy. I'm happy with the special. I'm getting good. It's the great. The best text I got was from uh, Dan St. Germain, and he was, was like, he goes, the special's great, man. I would put you above even me as a, as a stand-up oh, right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, well, like. Like, why don't we calm down? And then he hears, phone privileges are over. <laughs> yeah. A guard comes and takes it from him. Phone privileges are done. Um, He's go, also, his special's out, too. It's, his it's go watch Dan St. Germain's special. It's really funny. Dan's great. He's also one of the funniest people. We hope to get him on It's soon. just funny that everything's like a direct competition with him. It shouldn't be. No. You shouldn't be. There's a. There's enough. To We're go all just around. gonna thrive on our own, on Every, our own timeline. There's enough to. There's yeah. a lot of fun to be had by all. Yeah, you're gonna get very sick someday. I'm of gonna course. absorb some of your. I'll yeah. absorb some. You'll absorb the, some of my fans. Yeah. I think I'll die suddenly. You think? I hope. Yeah. 
That's the hope. Isn't that the hope for all of us? I guess, yeah. It's the hope you just, one day you're just not there. Like you're just driving and it's like that. I hope I kill yeah. a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> and I also die. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. it's like a very kind of like, it's like, oh, you know, it's like when you go, how do you die? And they go, oh, well, he's kind of, <laughs> yeah. it's a road rage incident. <laughs> He plowed down a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, then you get some of the fans, you yeah. know, some of the people that came over after yeah, the, yeah. the road rage. Like a bunch of people are dead, but you're also dead. So yeah, it's of not course. Things. It's like. It's whatever. I don't know. People, it's so weird now. Like, they, do you, did you're you checking hear, the views on your, on your video. <laughs> did, you, did you hear that the kid who went to fight for Israel died? It's like, mm. he was like an American kid and he goes, I'm just going to go fight for Israel. And yeah. he died. It's like people just. Yeah. And but he believed in some, so that's nice that he believed it's in good a to thing believe in something that yeah. much that he just said, "I'm just going to give my life because I believe." Yeah, we don't believe in anything like that. It yeah. would be very hard outside of your family, mm -hmm. your friends, mm -hmm. your own physical safety. Mm -hmm. Like imagine like the countries at war, mm -hmm. and like I like Chris Stefano and me are on the phone like trying to justify going to fight China in the <laughs> Taiwan Strait. Yeah, like I, I just no one's up for that. Yeah. No one's up for that. No. No one's doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bummer that anybody that anybody does. Yeah, it's just I just fights. none of our friends would be like, We're doing it. Yeah. I'll step to his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you need that guy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The guy who stepped oh, to the his guy ass. Was, yeah. Yeah, China. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him China's a whole country of pedophiles. <laughs> we got a big pedophile. <laughs> They're trying to take over Taiwan so yeah. they can produce child porn. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll step to his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right there. Out <laughs> right for Smokes Pod, Microscene Special. Go support him. Thank you, folks. Goodbye.